Welcome back to Showcase Sunday. Today we are taking a look at Commander 112. Hey, let's get started! Alright, so we have this lovely plane, but we're not going to start here. We're going to start down here with the Cessnas. So, Showcase Sunday, in case you don't know, is where I find a builder uh, on the workshop and I showcase a few of the vehicles they have built. And today my eye was caught by Commander 112A because I saw a plane that is back there! But we're not going to look at that one. We're going to look at his earlier builds, which is the Cessna 150G. And this is a strange build because there are batteries over there. I'm not sure why. Maybe because this one would go dead too fast? I don't know. But uh, we have some circuit breakers down here, I saw. So I'm going to go ahead and turn those on. And we're going to take a look at it. We have a spotlight over there. And we have some nice build uh, quality here. Nice wing tips. And I like the bar connected by a pivot to the electrical thingamabob. And uh, maybe that's just a regular connector. Don't know, but it looks good. So let's go ahead and get in. For some reason, you get in through the bottom. So I don't know why, but we have parachute and we have the pilot seat. So very nice looking interior. Go ahead and turn on. Nothing is happening. We've got beacons, landing lights. Planning light does not work. And cabin light. Okay. Yep. I don't know. All right. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next plane. But this is a very nice looking plane. But looks like it needs to be updated perhaps. I don't know what changed. But hopefully they get that uh, done. So we can fly it. All right. Next up we have the Cessna. And this is the 210. And it looks very nice. I think it has a very nice shape to it. I'm not too familiar with Cessnas, but this does look like a Cessna. Okay, you know what? It is getting dark. Let's do a little magic. There we go. All right. Nice little magic there with low budget effects. So let's go ahead and check out the inside. This one has a door where you click it and it unlocks a door and then you have to grab this. Now, I always get this. If you tap it, you're just kind of like hanging on the door, I guess. I I'm a little confused by the difference so let's see here so grab handle is tap tether handle is e i don't know what the difference is so see i'm still grabbing it i'm still opening it i don't i don't, I don't understand that command so if you understand let me know because i don't get it but we're gonna go ahead and open the door and jump in and the door closes and we're gonna check it out in here we've got a nice little seating for four we have our flaps and our lighting, cabin lights and outside lighting. Our pilot seat has brakes, fuel pump, probably need that. Landing gear up and down, and then we have an engine starter and navigation lights, beacon lights, and a little throttle. So let's see if we can get this thing flying. All right, there we go. All right, hey, that was not too bad. All right, so it's turning, it's, oh the landing gear problem okay okay oh 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 uh oh oh dear right. oh we might be able to just take off like full blast let's take off full blast ready go go oh oh uh oh uh oh yeah uh fuel pumps fuel pumps turn off the fuel pump Yeesh. oh what is that all right so that is the Cessna 210 as flown by endoskull you can see by my elite skills i have flown the plane uh as intended which is as a movie plane apparently all right so i had to clean up the mess here we had lights on we had planes crashing it was a mess but let's go ahead and take a look at the next plane which is another one that caught my interest because it is a world war ii plane and so i love world war ii planes everybody knows that and this is the i-16 and i'm going to try to say the front of the name yeah, I don't, I don't know how to say the name, but it is an I-16 Type 24. Looks lovely. It's got the rockets underneath. Nice little places for the landing gear, and of course we have the fuel connector. I'm gonna go ahead and try to fly this one and see what happens. So we have throttle, flaps, starter, and then on the pilot seat we have parking brake, landing gear, cockpit in. Interior heater on. All right, this seems pretty easy. I can. Where's the 
circuit breaker. Circuit breaker? Oh, here we go. Boom, boom. There we go. And go ahead and give it a little fuel. Start her up. Look at that. That was easy. Okay. Nice little turning back wheel there. Easy, easy, easy. Line it up on the runway. Yeah, this is a nice little plane. Looks like an I-16. Looks like straight out of War Thunder. Always difficult for me to fly a plane with the throttle on the inside just because you can't look forward and pull that. Maybe it works better with a um, throttle and, what do you call it, joystick. But as a mouse and keyboard player, kind of difficult. All right, so let's go ahead and put up the landing gear. There it goes. Nice and slow. All right. Flies nice. Looks nice. Cute little plane. All right, let's see if I can land it as well as I landed the Cessna. Or, no, I didn't land the Cessna. I just took off with the Cessna. But let's see if I can land this one. Okay, a little bit squirrely on the... Whatchamacallit. Okay, two. Let's do about 60%. Oh, we're coming in fast. Oh, <laughs> don't let me fly your planes. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, we have to go around. Let's go around. All right, so we're going to just pass by those lovely planes down there. And we're going to use our rudder to turn. There we go. Nice and easy. Anybody can fly a plane in Stormworks. Really nice and easy. Okay, all right. Nice, nice. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I have this. I am very good at this. I'm a trained pilot. Oh, don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. Okay, wait, 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 wait for it. All right, all right. Line it up, line it up. Oh, dear. Okay, okay, okay. Kill the throw. Kill the throw. Uh oh, oh. About an average landing for me. All right, cool. Nice plane. All right, so now that I've landed that we can move on to the next plane so now we're going to go check out another world war ii plane the commander has built which is the da, 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 mitsubishi 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 i don't know how to say it but it's something like mitsubishi and it is the a6 m2-21 zero and if you're wondering why i have these walls back here that just stopped me from going around it's because these planes now roll back with the new wheels so when I spawned them, they were rolling into the ocean. All right, so let's check this out. It has some nice little rising suns on it. And if we get on top, we can see that we have some nice little markings on the side there. But, um, no way to get in? No, no way to get in. No, no way to get in? No way. Can I, can I sneak in there through the window? No, I don't, I don't know how to get in this plane. Commander, there's no way in this plane if you're watching. I, I don't know how to get in. All right, well, it looks lovely. Let's go ahead and admire the beauty. So if we do just a nice little flyby, we can see it has some nice markings on it. Paint looks pretty good. The white on the black looks very close to what I remember the Zero has in the front. I just can't remember if those are like cow flaps or it was actually a, like just paint or a physical, but it looks good. So nice looking Zero. I don't know how to get in. Let me know in the comments below, Commander, if there is a way to get in or this needs to be fixed because we want to fly your planes. We just don't want to look at them. All right, now for the plane that really is the reason we're having a Sunday showcase with Commander, which is the, if I can say it right, the Grumman F4F-F Wildcat. And I love this plane and I'm gonna show you why. Let's, let's go ahead and see if we can get inside. And I will show you why I am in love with this plane. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on top here and step inside and go to the external view. Now, look at this plane. This is exactly as a Wildcat should look in Stormworks. If I were to build this plane, it would probably look like this. So I don't have to build this plane, it is here. The Wildcat is in Stormworks and I think it's nearly ready to fly. I think it has a few issues, says it's broken on the title. So this is a perfect Wildcat for Stormworks. It looks like a Wildcat. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So let's go ahead and see if we can fly it. Uh, no guarantees here. I'm going to go ahead and hit the circuit breaker, sit down, and we're going to go ahead and check cockpit lights, cockpit heater. Oh, there's fuel pumps, engine starter. Okay, so let's go ahead and throttle it up, and that is it. Should start up. All right, so we are going to fly this plane off into the sunset of Showcase Sunday and call it a day. Are we ready? 
Here we go. Three, two, one. So far. So, oh, seems to be working really well. I, I just wish the throttle was on the arrow keys. Alright, here we go. We're... we're... <laughs> no! Alright. Alright, I got this. Don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. I have it. I have it. No, I don't. Do I have it? I don't think I have it. Okay, I've got it. Alright. Let's put the landing gear up. Gear, gear, gear. Alright, landing gear is up. And now we are flying. Okay, so I think that's what he means by broken. It is kind of freaking out all by itself. Well, I did hit crash it a little bit, but I don't think that's why he's doing it. So let's go ahead and slow it down a little bit, maybe. All right. No, I think that's what he meant by broken. It is really kind of going side to side. Okay, slowing down seems to help it, but I don't know. All right. Well, I think it's looking pretty good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do a uh, dramatic flyby, and I will see you next time. Well, let's go lower. Oh, wow, it's freaking out. All right, all right. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, crap. All right, well, that's it for today. I think I've done enough damage for today. And I will see you next time. Dramatic flyby.